birthday. It's got her from a touch. So we know we've got neurons within our within our brain. Neurons are essentially nerve cells. But as more and more researchers look into the body, they've actually found neurons within within different parts of the body. Which is quite interesting in that way. So neurons within our brain are the ner nerve cells that allow us to do the range of things that we that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So then when we look into the body, we think, okay, well, what are those neurons doing? So some of the key places that neurons have been found within the body is, is the heart. The heart, the part that pumps the blood through the body and has done since the day we were born, that is neurons. But today I'm going to be talking more about the gut and the neurons that we have within our gut. It's quite interesting. I came across some research that showed that the, let's say the volume or amount of neurons um, that we have in our gut is the same amount as a cat or a dog. Which that on the surface may sound quite strange. But when we think of, say, a cat or a dog, that's quite a lot of new neural power right there. A cat or a dog is not as smart as a human, but there's a but what they can do is with with their brain is it's quite amazing, it really is. And if we've got a concentrated volume of, of neurons within our gut, then the question is, well, what are they doing? Everything's connected. We've talked a lot about that, the the brain and the body and how they are connected. And the neurons that we have in our head, you know, heart and gut, they're all connected as well. They're not separate entities here, they're they're all part of the whole. So when we look at the gut again, we've got a range of neurons doing all sorts of things. So how does that get communicated to the brain? Well, this one way this is done is through the vagus nerve. This is a nerve that travels from well from the brain right into our or internal organs within our gut. This is a, you can think of this as an information superhighway. Information is being passed back and forth, back and forth, between these two parts. So essentially we've got all the neurons within the, the, the brain being connected to all the neurons within the gut through this vagus nerve. This is something that we've always had but we may not be aware of it. So that's what today is going to be about. Well, we can use the power of the mind, and in this case a visualization, to draw our awareness to the vagus nerve and the connection between the gut and the brain. So with all meditation, let's start with some deep breaths. We're going to breathe in through our nose and out. Through our mouth. We're going to focus more on the out breath than the in breath. And we're going to breathe very deep into our lungs. Now, as you continue to breathe, allow your eyes to Pose or to the dull gaze towards the floor. Continue these deep breaths. I want you to scan throughout your body from the top of your head the tip of your toes. Allow this to happen somewhat fast. More of a check-in to see how the body's feeling today. And continue to breathe as you scan throughout your body.
So as you're completing your body scan, allow yourself to focus on the eyes. And more importantly, the part behind the eyes. I want to imagine a cord, a cord going from the back of your eyes through your brain and down the back of your spine, comfortably going in to your gut and the other organs around. Imagine what this would look like. This cord from the back of your eyes, through your brain, down your spine, into your gut and the internal organs around. This is the cord that connects the gut to the brain. This is the cord that we've always had. This is the cord that we're going to become more aware of. I want to imagine information being passed through this cord, back and forth, and back and forth. What does this cord look like to you? Does this cord get brighter as the more information passes through it? Does this cord get bigger when more information passes through it? Allow yourself to get comfortable with this cord. This cord that stretches from the back of your eyes, down your spine, into your gut and all the organs around. Be comfortable with this and show some appreciation to this. Everything it does on a daily basis. And as you sit with this card, do you notice any more sensations within your body? Continue to breathe as you allow this card to stay within your awareness. And whatever sensations come to you is okay. Continue to breathe nice and deep. As you become more and more comfortable with the main body connection through the vagus nerve, allow yourself to feel at one with this, at one with your body, at one with your mind, knowing you work closely together for the benefit of you and everything you do on a daily basis. As you continue to breathe, we're going to come back to the present, but we're going to take this newfound appreciation and awareness with us back to the present. Count to five, and when we reach five, we're going to come back to the present moment. One, two, 
three. more nice deep breath. Allow yourself to come back to the present moment. I hope you enjoyed that, that meditation this morning. You know it's amazing what we can do with the power of the mind. Even through a visualization like that. You know it starts to link up with things that are actually happening within our mind and body. And as though we're visualizing this cord going from our brain to our gut, this is a very real cord. This is a very real information highway. Although we can't see it, it's our internal. We can't see past, past our skin, but it's there. And that's why the visualization can be very beneficial. Because we can use visualization to focus on things that we can't see, but we know is there. The more time that we spend, say, doing visualizations like that and envisioning the, the vagus nerve and the functions that it does, the more aware we can become of the information that, come, that is being passed through. This information is mostly subconscious, yes. But with conscious awareness, you can be more aware of some of the unconscious functions that happen. I hope you enjoyed this today. I'll leave it there for now. And I wish you all a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.